So recently, we've had so many different rumors about NVIDIA 3000 series, AMD Big Navi, Ryzen 4000, Intel 10th generation, but with recent big world events constraining both the supply and manufacturing chain in Asian countries, where pretty much all of these things are manufactured, is this going to mean that 2020 is going to be really bad for PC building? And should you buy your hardware now? Well, let's discuss. <music> Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. If you like my content, subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. All right guys, if you followed a little bit of the news lately, you know that there's a bit of a worldwide panic going right now. You know, the stock market is reacting, all the countries are starting to panicking a little bit. So let's just break it down to something, of course, not as important as health, but something significant to what we talk about, and that's PC hardware. Now, the beginning of the year, we thought that 2020 was going to be an absolutely stellar year for GPUs especially. I mean, CPUs, we still got stuff coming. Intel has some new stuff. Of course, Ryzen 4000. But GPUs, considering NVIDIA's 3000 series as well as AMD's Big Navi, are pretty much what we were excited for. Now, nothing has really happened yet, but things are changing pretty quickly. This video now is going up in early March, so who knows what's going to happen by the end of the month. Now, a lot of the supply chain ecosystems, as well as the different manufacturing zones in Asia, definitely seem to be very delayed and behind. I mean, people just couldn't work because of the outbreak. So now we're going to see if this is going to have an effect going forward and if the situation is remedied at all. So what does that mean? Well, if you guys have been following the news, you've seen that actually a lot of big events have been canceled, or if the entire event hasn't necessarily been canceled, a lot of big manufacturers have pulled out of a lot of events. This has also happened in the camera world where the shortages in the supply chain are also being affected, and a lot of the conferences where new technology was gonna be announced just didn't happen. So we're gonna see what happens in 2020. Um, it seemed like we were on a pretty good path in terms of technology with all the new GPUs coming out, new cameras coming out, new CPUs. Technology was going at a pretty good pace, but then this came and interrupted it. And now if the worldwide manufacturing processes can't piece things together in order to get it into a product and the supply chains are sort of really, really backed up, I think we may eventually start to feel it. Maybe the prices are going to go up. I've been following my local micro center as well as surrounding computer stores in order to see if there have been any changes yet for the last few weeks. Now, prices still seem pretty stable. Nothing's gone up too much. Processors from AMD seem to be in plentiful stock. Now, Intel processors have been going less and less down in stock. This could just be AMD's been so much more popular lately. Maybe just people are buying AMD and the stores aren't really restocking Intel. In fact, I've barely seen any Intel X299 processors like the 10980XE, 10920XE, etc. Micro Center had a couple, Amazon had a couple, but it seems like these are very sparse and it makes sense because I don't think too many people were going to buy them just because of the competitive nature of Ryzen. And then you put that together with current worldwide events and possible supply chain issues and it kind of makes sense why we're not seeing any of those but for now i think most places have sort of the stock that they've you know kept so we're gonna have to see if in the next few weeks in the next few months supply is gonna go down considerably and price is up and availability is just gonna disappear now if you guys remember not too long ago with the crypto mining phase now this is completely different than what's going on now but it's still a supply and demand issue First, there were a lot of GPUs, everybody was happy. All of a sudden, cryptocurrencies came in, people bought up GPUs like crazy, everywhere sold out. You couldn't get one almost at all. You had to have your notification on like on Newegg or something. When it came in, you'd have to buy it immediately or it'd be sold out. Even places like Micro Center were selling GPUs for like twice the price that they normally are. And you would go there and the shelves would be absolutely empty. So this happened for a while and supply really sucked. It really wasn't good for PC gamers and PC builders. You really couldn't get your hand on hardware. So can that happen again with this? It's possible. I mean, instead of being a cryptocurrency demand, this could just be a lack of supply, and that could create the same type of issue in the store with less product and people buying stuff, maybe even panic buying stuff if they need it. So as we stand now, 
We still have stuff in stores. Nothing's really happened yet. Maybe they'll find some type of solution to this and nothing will happen. But if you're kind of holding off on buying hardware, waiting for new stuff to come out later in the year, that stuff may be more expensive now or it may be further delayed. So I would say if you have a pressing issue to upgrade, you should definitely do it now. Get your GPU now, take advantage that the prices are still fairly fair, nothing's gone up. Get your CPU, motherboard, cases now. These are all things that are gonna be affected if the global supply issues don't improve, especially DRAM and hard drives. Um, RAM and hard drives have been at really like historical lows recently. You've been able to get NVMe hard drives and really cheap RAM. Um, that you really couldn't before. A few years ago, RAM was getting ridiculously expensive. Then all of a sudden, prices went back down. Um, nothing was really too crazy. But I would suggest that if you guys need stuff, I would just get it now. If you can wait, if you have great hardware and you're not in any pressing issue to upgrade, of course, then maybe wait it out, see what happens. But if you were planning to upgrade soon, it might make sense just to get it now because you don't know what if something happens and prices go up a lot then you're going to be kicking yourself or even if prices go up there may be no availability of what you want to get maybe everything gets sold out they don't have any more back stock or anything like that so it's definitely not the most prosperous time to be a pc builder i mean there is new technology and hardware coming out or supposed to come out but this worldwide issue may just throw a wrench in the works for 2020. So we'll have to see how it plays out. I'll keep you guys updated if I hear of anything and if I think anything else. So basically to summarize, I just think if you were gonna buy hardware soon, I would just do it now before anything changes too much. But if you're not in any hurry, then just wait it out, see what happens. It may end positively. Nothing's really happened yet to be extremely alarming. This is just sort of the calm before the storm of something that could happen. So it's just an idea to keep in mind as we all love building PCs but that could be a little bit more difficult if we can't get the parts or they're really too expensive so just something to keep in mind all right guys thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video